Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, reading speed and code comprehension, particularly in what pertains to fonts and to uh, how to choose a good font that uh, increases your reading speed. So um, before I actually show you how the fonts look like and we go through uh, some of the characteristics of the best fonts available, um, I had to do some research and I just thought, okay, I'm just going to create a repository with some of my findings. So here's, here's the, uh, code comprehension research compendium repository. You can find the link in the description of the video. Uh, I went through some of the, uh, research on syntax and semantic highlighting. Uh, I went through some research on visualizations. So visualizations are, um, like symbols in your code. So visual aids in your code. And one of the most important visual aids that you will have in your code is actually font ligatures, but they are not the only one. So let me show you actually uh, what I'm talking about. So for example, when you put the cursor here, you see this little line here, this yellow line. This helps you visually uh, uh, process this piece of code. So because you have that, that line there, um then you know you're like your eye immediately uh, jumps into uh what's inside this this line and the same thing here you know that you are within the context of these two brackets right and this is easier to see than just having the brackets of course um the indentation obviously helps as well but this is one of the symbols uh, that the research supports is very good for reading speed um yeah, and then of course, um, you know, characteristics that a font should have for maximum reading speed and code comprehension. And you have a list of the most important uh, characteristics and uh, why they are important for um, a, a font that you use in uh, while coding. And then um, I went through a huge list of fonts um some of those fonts didn't even make uh make make to make it into this list because they didn't uh fulfill enough criteria um but i went through through a lot of them and these are the ones that uh i thought should be here um of course i wouldn't recommend the ones that have a lot of uh red x's i would recommend uh you know uh fonts from um this upwards Obviously, I would recommend these three ones the most. Um, the ones I'm going to show you, however, are, are Fire Code, Cascadia Code, JetBrains Mono, and Operator Mono. So let's take a look at how these fonts actually look like in VS Code with the Cobalt 2 theme um, and how they look in the terminal as well. Now, the font that we have enabled right now is the Fire Code. This is a pretty good font. So let's uh, let's let me give you some some observations here. So first, notice that the export keyword, the types, and the comments are in italics. Um, the particularly the types and the comments uh, um, are important to uh, easily distinguish between. Um, Sorry, let me rephrase that. <laughs> it's important to easily distinguish the types in the comments from the remaining code. So uh, not only uh, them having a different color, but also being in italics is helpful uh, towards uh, reading speed. But overall, it's this is a very Fire code is a very readable font. It has ligatures and well well designed ligatures and uh, characters that are usually or that may not be distinguishable they are easily distinguishable here so all good um, the only downside that i see with fire code um, is you see this line here this is called the ruler by the way in vs code uh, and i've put this little ruler here at the end of the line that takes the, the most width um, uh, the, the line has the most characters so that you could we could kind of analyze uh, how much space a font takes so if you uh, if you take a look at the uh, this line here uh, you can see that it uh, kind of ends at the beginning of um, my frame 
if you take a look at my camera, so it ends here, right? And this is the, the end of the frame, or the beginning of the frame, rather. Um, and something that we will notice is that FireCode is actually the worst font in this regard. It occupies the most space. And this means that you can have less characters on the same line, which effectively means you can see less code without uh, having word wrap, right? Or line wrap, which hopefully you're using instead of horizontal scroll, horizontally scrolling, right? So we, we don't want that. Um, but yeah, it, it does occupy quite a bit of space. Otherwise, very, very excellent font. And the terminal looks good and well balanced as well, so all good. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Cascadia code. Let's compare Fire code to Cascadia code. The first thing we'll take a look at is where the line ends. So how much code we actually have. Okay, so it kind of ends on the top of my head, right? So it ends here. Um, so we have uh, a bit more space there, a few more characters. That's good. Um, is it readable? Yeah, pretty readable. Um, all good. I. I'm not a huge fan of the I like the the that little serif on on some of the letters. Uh, I don't find it super readable, uh, but it's also not super bad. This is okay. The ligatures are okay. It kind of fails to have ligatures on the double equals, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that's the only downside that I see uh, in terms of the ligatures. The characters are easily distinguishable and hmm well i don't know what do you think about this power line to me it kind of feels too thick to be honest um not a big fan of how this looks in the power line but okay overall it's it's a pretty good font okay so let's take a look at uh, jetbrains mono low now let's compare where the line ends Okay, so JetBrains Mono is somewhere in between um, Fire Code and Cascadia Code. Okay, um, very readable. The beautiful italics, like super readable, more readable than than Cascadia for sure. Um, it has all the the ligatures. The only ligature that I don't like, but I'm kind of nitpicking here, is the fat arrow. Kind of looks unbalanced somehow uh but all good characters are distinguishable and the power line looks pretty pretty good okay all right pretty good font let's compare jetbrains mono with the operator mono with ligatures and by the way operator mono does not have ligatures by default but you can add them with a little plugin so the first thing we want to look at is the line where the line ends Ooh, okay, huge difference. So um, this is by far the font that occupies the least space. So you can have more code per line, more characters per line. So uh, it, it wins in that regard. Very readable, absolutely gorgeous uh, serifed italics. So really nice. Um, it has beautiful ligatures really well designed and the characters are easily distinguishable and the power line looks gorgeous so um i'm uh, maybe i'm biased because this this is indeed my favorite font um but i want you to notice a little detail here look at this character here right so let's go back to fire code so this is just, let's just analyze the power line so this is how the power line looks with fire code this is Cascadia code, JetBrains Mono, and Operator Mono with ligatures. To me, this looks really nice. Um, so this is my favorite font. The only downside with, with Operator uh, Mono is that it does cost $200. Um, and then you kind of have to use a plugin to add the ligatures, but I guess that's fine. Um, and there you have it. Uh, the four absolute uh, best fonts for uh, coding. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Catch you guys in the next one.